Welcome back guys, and today I'm going to do an average of five. Uh, this is the first one I've recorded, and I've got to say, I really think I did really good. And the first thing I want to talk about is a big milestone I've reached in the past few days. So, uh, probably not a lot of you know, but I did go to a competition, so expect the video of that soon. Um, and it just since then, I've gotten so much faster. And the milestone I passed is sub-30. So I'm averaging about 25 now, and I'm really excited for sub-20 self. I've gotten a lot of 20-second selves, and I really think that I can get sub-20. So I definitely think that's a really big milestone in my QB career. I also want to talk about practicing and learning look ahead. Um, I apologize for my shoulder being in the way. I was copying down the times on my scramble sheet so I can find calculate my average later. So I'm just uh, talking about like look ahead and practicing. So I've been practicing a lot. Uh, I'm on uh, Thanksgiving break yesterday. It was Thursday and today's Friday, so I'm on break and I practiced like six hours yesterday. Today I've practiced like two maybe, but it's only um, like uh, 12.30, so. I have been practicing a lot more and I've gotten really good at look ahead. So if you want to get faster time, just practice looking ahead and do some slow solves. So you just get used to it and then you can start getting faster and faster and your times are going to start getting really great. So that's just my advice to you as a cuber. And I am very pleased of my times these days and I think by my next competition I'll do really a lot better than I did the my uh the one i was just at i mean it was my first so i was a little shaky but i definitely think that i'll do better at my next one another cool thing i'm doing or want to start doing is some challenges so i did earlier way back um solving the rubik's cube on a ripstick so you know things along those lines just um yeah so i think it'll be really fun to do things like that um and I, you know, will make some pretty cool videos of that. I want to upload more averages as well. So, you know, to, so I can look back and say, wow, like, I've improved this much. So I think that's a really, really cool thing to do. And I'm going to start doing some Q&A as well. So you can ask me questions about me or about just things in the cubic world or, um, stuff so I can I can look it up you know and give you back an answer so uh, this average is coming to a close and I want to thank you guys for you know watching my videos and I'm just I'm really happy that I'm getting more subscribers these days and I think that's just really cool so I will make a lot more averages now that I've got a stack map which I think is uh, really cool and I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to me so far and if you're not go ahead and subscribe what's the harm um so yeah I will be not talking about this stuff I'll be talking about things that happened to me and answering questions and stuff in my other ones so yeah guys stay tuned for more of these so uh yeah this average is coming to a close and I just this was a really great average for me, and I was really pleased about that. Um, yeah, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I've just I, I've been I've been busy at school, so it's understandable. Uh, so I just want to, you know, tell you, show you guys like what timer I'm using, and scrambles and stuff. So I'm using the um, the um, Stack Mat Pro timer. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool from Speed Stacks and. The average sheets were uh, generated by, uh, what's it called, uh, cubewiz.com. They are official WCA scrambles. So, yeah, they are quite official. And my solves were 25, 29, 28, 23, and 20. So, yeah, they're definitely, definitely very good. And I'm super happy about that. So, thanks so much for watching. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in my next video.